left me lonely. Good morning and welcome to day one of being a surgeon. But this is jumping it definitely. We're in my induction week and my first induction is with the trust. So that means the hospital is going to familiarize me with everything that I need to know, all of the policies, like the fire policy, manual handling, uh, child protection, adult safeguarding, all these sorts of things. And they're gonna run me through it. And that's a whole day thing, because in the afternoon, it's all of the IT stuff. So let's get going. Let me show you guys my OOT. My cardigan and my top are from Zara. This is old, this is new. My jeans are from Frame. My shoes are Laura Piana. My work bag is this Longchamp bag that I got in January time. It's really sturdy and to be honest, it stayed so clean since January, which I'm so grateful for. So yeah, this is my work bag. I kind of throw it on my shoulder like that, or sometimes hold a top handle if it's really heavy. And as I'm not going on wards, my hair is half up, half down. So anyways, catch you at the hospital. Staying at the house tonight, the forgetter and see. Guys, I've come home and my best friend, who is happens to be working in the same hospital as me has sent me these flowers. He's got them delivered to me to say good luck. I was honestly so surprised and like so emotional. I can't explain to you. He dropped me home by luck, like we've manifested it. We're working at the same hospital. He's a bit further up in his training than me, um, but it's my like first day of my training. So he got me these for good luck. And like congrats and it's made me so emotional and he also told me that he ordered them months ago when I got the job. I love you very very much and I feel like a very 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 blessed girl. So thank you. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Tara is walking Banksy. <laughs> yeah you pee baby. <laughs> She's not, this is her first time walking a dog ever. On a leash. <laughs> Responsibility. <laughs> I feel so honoured. Thank you. Words that I've learned. Say again. Knack on. <laughs> Your Farsi grammar is ten ten. Yeah. Beji, beji, beshin, How do I ask him to sit? Yeah, but he's not going to sit in the middle of the road. <laughs> I would if you asked me. <laughs> from my final day of induction. I had three days where they introduced me to the whole team. And, well, not the whole team, but like a lot of people in the team, they give you a tour. We go over like guidelines that I need to know about and where to find certain things, introduction to systems, the systems they use to document, to prescribe, and just how everything runs. You know, I'm from here. Yeah. Sorry, I feel like this light is glaring. That light was flickering, so I've switched it off, so sorry, it's gone dark. But anyway, um, it was lovely, and I'm so happy with the hospital that I've joined. It's so nice. And I've got myself this new lanyard. It just came it's out. Baby. I opened it. My mum is so cute. And then I got some flowers. Lucky me, more flowers. I'm so grateful. And this one is from my cousin Niku. They're so beautiful. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Niku. I love you. Merci, Niku John. And then Nabia. Sorry, my camera's quite low down. Nabia also sent me this card with a personalized pen. Oh my god. Wait, I don't know if you guys can see. The pen says Seppi on it. And it's pink, which is so me. You I absolutely tough. love it. Um, so thank you so much, Nabia. You're the cutest. Thank you, Nabia June. And so overall, I'm so happy with how this week has gone. And it's honestly been so nice of all of you guys who've sent me messages um, on my Instagram, on YouTube, wishing me luck. Like, I'm so blessed and grateful to have all of you and I say that from the bottom of my heart like I've got nothing but love this past week and I just feel so blessed so I love you so much and yeah I'm really excited for the weekend I'm not working this weekend so I will bring you guys along to that tonight Thank you.
And I made a new friend who I have to tell you about. But yeah, the weather today in London, beautiful. No one seems to hold me like you do. You're so wonderful. A star could never shine as bright as you. <laughs> this is Paulina. What did you order, by the way? Oh, this is um, World X Big X Arabiata. <laughs> Which we said is basically a shakshuka. In Italian. <laughs> and then we got Natalie. I've got some overpriced things. With some hard bread. And, uh, and orange juice. Just and then I've got ham and cheese on there. So yeah, bon appetit. So lucky I met you. The way I feel when you walk in the room. When you walk in the room, it's not optional. I'm reunited with my best friend and you're back from Brazil and what do you do now? Let's update the vlog. So, working girls. This hill is heaving. That's bagel shops busy. Joe and the Juice has a queue. Still up here. You're looking summer sheep. So I just finished lunch with Celia and we walked into Space and K and I grabbed myself a few essentials that I needed. I had run out of my Paula's Choice BHA, which I love, and my NARS Creamy Concealer in Custard. I love this concealer. And then I picked up the Sunday Riley Autocorrect Eye Cream. They had 20% off in Sunday on Sunday Riley in there, which is good. So I'm going to try this. It's a brightening and depuffing eye contour cream. Instantly delivers a lifted and depuff look to the eye area while reducing the appearance of dark circles and fine lines. So key ingredients in this is caffeine, Brazilian ginseng root extract, horse chestnut extract, acmella oleraca extract and watermelon rind extract and lutein so that is that I'm gonna go back home now I've just got some more admin stuff to do for my new job and tomorrow is my first day in theatres I'm gonna be on the elective c-section list so for you guys wondering I got so much good feedback about when I explained like what goes on with the process of my work so I think I'll be like so transparent about what I actually do so for example when I'm in theatres don't be expecting me to be running the show and doing the operation if anything I'll be probably like an assistant to the consultant or the senior registrar whilst I learn how the operation is done and then I can get more involved, for example, um, suturing the layers of the skin or the fat. And then slowly, slowly, you probably get into the process of doing 
the c-section um, that's how I think it's gonna go so I'm just going to be doing some prep for that as well today and looking back at my anatomy notes and stuff for that and yeah we'll take it from there I'm gonna do a, a, a fake vlog. go on <laughs> <laughs> sorry how is that me um, so today guys my beautiful friend Talia um, created this I thought she was gonna take like credit herself for a second <laughs> Just be like, I made all this okay I think we should film this super slow so that a meal starts prawns what says chicken <laughs> so he's gonna hit me lasagna yeah yeah so I've just got home and I was practicing my suturing skills with Sol, preparing for my first day in theatres tomorrow. I'm really excited. I thought before I end this vlog, I'd just give you a rundown of what happened this week at work. It was my induction week. So basically on the first day it was more like an introduction to the hospital what systems they use to document patient notes to prescribe medications where I can find things what the policies are for blood transfusions how to request bloods look at bloods things like that that everyone who works in the hospital as a doctor would need to know so it was like all doctors together the second and third day was specific to my department, obstetrics and gynaecology, and all of the talks were given by members of my team. So I met everyone in my department, not everyone, but like a lot of people in my department, and everyone is so lovely. I feel so lucky. The hospital is wonderful. The training there was more focused on obs and gynae related stuff. So we'd had some talks to do with looking at CTG monitoring, which is how we monitor like fetal heart rate, etc. We had a talk on growth, pl uh, plotting uh, growth charts. We looked at like setups, data, and just how the hospital is run in this department, how this department runs in this hospital. And it was all really, really, really nice. Everyone was lovely and just seems like it's going to be such a supportive team which I'm grateful for and yeah tomorrow is my first day I start off in the morning in theatre and in the afternoon I'm in antenatal clinic which is clinic for the pregnant ladies so I'm going to end this vlog here and next week will be my first official week of work so in the next vlog I'll give you guys more updates of what it's like but yeah tomorrow is my first day working as a surgeon woo woo and I'm really excited if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up it goes so far for me and if you haven't already I would love you if you subscribed it would mean so much to me as well and let me know when you've done that in the comments so that I can give you a big virtual hug I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time bye